If the Republican Party isn't careful, they're about to pull a Biden. Well, thanks for clicking on my video. I am Basic Blue. What did I mean by the Republicans are going to pull a Biden? Well, um, in this video, I am going to put forth the argument that Trump supporters, as well as, I guess, Trump himself, should start supporting Ron DeSantis for a 2024 uh presidential nomination run okay and we can see that and some of these uh poll numbers I'm just going to pause this real quick Ron DeSantis Trump neck and neck in potential 2024 Michigan primary a uh, new poll shows former President Donald Trump the big T himself <laughs> and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in a virtual tie among likely Republican voters in the battleground state of Michigan a sign that the 45th president may not cruise to the GOP nomination should he and DeSantis both run in 2024. Uh, this is, to me, not very good news. <laughs> the survey commissioned by the Detroit News and WDIV found that 45% of likely Republican voters in the state would vote for Trump, while 42% would back the Florida governor, DeSantis, um, which is well inside the margin of error. All right, so <laughs> I'm just going to kind of jump right to the meat of the video here. All right, this dude that people fell in love with so much. Now, look, it, he's, he's kind of the reason why I switched from being left-leaning to right-leaning. So don't get me wrong. I think he did, um, you know, a lot more good than he did bad. Um, I don't like how he changed the like exchange law for cryptocurrency and property transfer. I don't like that. <laughs> you can look that up. That was something that Trump passed that I wasn't too crazy about. The media ignored that completely. That <laughs> wasn't racist at all. It just affected cryptocurrency in a bad way. But anyways, having said all that, this dude in two years is going to be 78. All right, for any of you out there, and this, this includes myself, if you laugh at any sort of gaffes or anything that Biden makes, well, don't you think that Trump is kind of like going to approach that pretty soon? I get it. The guy acts somehow like 20 years younger than Biden does. But if you go back and look at the Barack Obama uh, Biden years, Biden did not look like the Crip Keeper. Then he looked, you know, kind of youthful. And so it, it is surmised, I'm not the only one, but it, it, it's generally uh, theorized that Biden had something happen between, you know, the time that he took office nowadays versus when he was vice president under Barack Obama. Uh, just now that that's set in, that Trump is going to be really old, okay, his potential opponent, Ron DeSantis, is uh, 43. Okay, that means two years from now he'll be 45. That is, I mean, that's like lightning in a bottle. The guy has a track record, okay, for being, I would say, aggressively conservative, you know, in the state of Florida, uh, basically ensuring that the state of Florida is solid red. Sure, Ron DeSantis could beat Donald Trump in 2024. <laughs> How inevitable is a third consecutive nomination of Donald Trump? Partisan commenters, when it suits their purpose, tend to assume it is so. Republicans, uh, who remain supporters of the 45th president, which you shouldn't be. Oh, I just ticked off a lot of it. How dare you say that? I, I didn't really say you should go and support a Democrat. Just hear me out. All right. I, I just think you should, you know, kind of be in touch with reality, I guess. We don't want to pull a Biden, right? Uh, I should have, maybe that should be the title of this video. Uh, Republicans who remain supporters of the 45th president point to data showing he remains popular among his party voters. They also recall how loudly heralded attempts to deprive him of his first nomination in 2016. Uh, foundered? Or is that floundered? Probably floundered. I think they're missing an L there. Uh, 
Anyway, so the article goes on and speculates a little bit more here and there. Trump is losing ground to DeSantis, to DeSantis in poll after poll, um, which again, I you know I think that's that's good. I hope the Republican Party wakes up to the fact that Trump is very uh, you're rolling the dice, you know, like. Think about how much baggage that that guy has, whether or not it's even true. And I get you, all right? Like I said, I'm going to repeat multiple times, Trump was the reason why I switched from being left-leaning to right-leaning. Um, you know, I ended up voting for him in 2020 because I just did not want Biden. Does that mean that I would vote for him again in 2024? No, no, I don't think, well... If he was the nomination for the Demo uh, the Republican Party, then I, <laughs> I would be torn. You know, Democrats would have to run somebody that's uh, Joe Manchin, for instance. <laughs> you know, they'd have to run somebody like that. Which, if they do, I mean, that would be something. You know, can you imagine Manchin versus Trump or Manchin versus uh, DeSantis? Yeah, you'd have a you'd have a pretty good party uh, run on your hands there but the democrats are not that smart they're not going to elect somebody like that they're going to try to do like aoc or somebody like gavin newsom you know real firebrand hard leftist and so if we do that all right it, it almost seems like a guarantee that trump would be running against somebody that is significantly younger than him uh significantly probably you know has more energy Right. Think about what happened uh, with Hillary Clinton when she ran against Trump. It, it seemed like she was kind of running out of energy. Right. <laughs> well, again, I'm going to go back to this number. OK. Do I think the guy was you know, pretty impressive as a politician? Yeah, he was a firebrand. Uh, he, he basically woke people up to the fact that our media is sort of not to be trusted. And you can even see that in our media now when they acknowledge, oh, the I think that's one of the reasons why they don't like him, you know, it's because it caused so many people to become distrustful of the news. But I think it's a good thing because it starts to get that narrative going. So people actually understand that it's good to do a little bit of your own research. So if Trump managed to do that, then that's great. But does that mean that he is electable for the next, you know, presidential election? It, it depends. I mean, if you're... If you think that there should be term limits, okay, for our Congress, then why on earth would you, um, I mean, why would you try to push for somebody that is going to be that old? Like, that's like geriatric age, <laughs> okay? I mean, I know Biden is old too, but, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm calling out the contradiction there, okay? Because I actually, you know, I want the Republicans to take the House and the Senate and the and the executive branch in 2024. If we get DeSantis in there instead of Trump, we got a way better shot at doing that. All right. The guy's going to have a lot more energy, a lot less baggage. Right. And he's going to be able to in, I hope anyways, I think he would be less divisive. And so if you're going to try to be a leader, in the, in the free world, as they like to say, for the president of the United States, what, you know, what qualities are you looking for in a, in a leader? You, now, if you're very left-leaning, you, there's no way that you're going to follow Ron DeSantis for, for anything, right? Let's just say that you're somewhere more in the middle. Maybe you're just a little bit left of center. You're a never-Trumper, right? But then this other guy runs. Well, he's younger. Yeah, I know he did some weird things. I don't, I don't like those laws he passed in Florida. But, you know, I did notice that my Disney stuff had uh, some weird things on it this month. And I heard that he went against that, and I'm a parent. And, you know, I, I never really voted Republican before, but I like kind of that he reined some of that in. Or, or, or any number of the things he's done. That is an easier person to, to, <laughs> to sway right, to convert, whatever you want to call it, then putting somebody back in there that most of the public has been, like, trained to hate, right? So, you hear the big T word, it's like a four-letter word, 
you know, for people that are left-leaning. It's like a swear word. It's like a George Carlin swear word. So, yes, yeah, I mean, Trump is a very, uh, <laughs> very effective person to get, you know, some degree of Republicans fired up. But if you really want to try to win an election, and I think that's kind of the point, right? That's the goal. Then we should be trying to push somebody that is younger. Well, that's all I got for this one. Let me know what you think of this issue. Do you think uh, Trump is strong enough to make it to 2024? You know, I'm sure he'll be alive, right? But will he uh, start to decline? You know, all of these, these gaffes and everything that you see Biden making, that can happen to somebody else too. So, you know, consider is 78, you know, a, a little bit on the edge for somebody to be running for president. Let me know in the comments. Uh, as always, you know, smash the like button, the notification bell, and the subscribe button. That way you're updated on all my latest posts. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.